Hey guys, this is Helix Gaming and today I'm presenting you the first view of Panoma mode that has been applied to the CSGO and it's not beta version as of now you can download it from your Steam update and there have been some minor changes and there's a there's this little step to get the Panoma view in your CSGO uh, client. To get the Panoma view in your CSGO, you just have to add minus Panoma in the launch options in CSGO. Just go to the Steam, Steam application on your desktop or laptop on whatever uh, system you are playing. Just go to the properties and there's an option uh, set launch options just click that and add minus panoma to that and you'll get the panoma view as you can see on my screen here and then there are some minor changes and fixes that have been added to the update which is of uh, 456 megabytes and the changes that have been added are as follows for hood there are six or seven changes which I'm going to read now. Hood money panel now has a background like the health and ammo and is controllable with CL underscore hood underscore background underscore alpha. You can put this command in your console and you can control the background for hood as well. Hood money panel. They fix the hood chat lines not lining up with each other in certain resolutions and scales. Updated the look of Crosshair style 0 and 1 to more closely match the scale form version. Panorama Crosshair style 0 and 1 no longer scale when changing resolution. Added buttons to the scoreboard to allow users to toggle caster features. Custom team logos now work again using PNG extension and can be placed in the new team image location or the old flash location. Fixed ADR not filtering out team damage. Fixed overwatch suspect not being highlighted in scoreboard. And fixed overwatch suspect not being highlighted in the scoreboard as I've said before. Then there are some changes in watch menu. Added download state indicators to match lister tiles. Enabled watching a demo from a specific round. Then there are some minor, not minor, only single single changes on Mirage, Overpass and Cache map. They are not exactly the changes, just minor big bug fixes. On Mirage, adjusted player collision on bench wall at bomb side B. On Overpass, fixed several bomb struck spots. And on Cache updated the BSP embedded radar map image to the newer version. And they've also fixed the brightness and blurring effect on the map loading screen. As we are going to see now. Let's load Mirage. So these are the new loading screens as you can see. The newer map and everything and that's a quite a faster load up that we see here overall I'm getting really good FPS and there's a gradual increase in the FPS from previous version or I, as you can say from previous view on Panama, I'm getting around 20, 15 to 20 percent increase. No, not sorry, 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 not 15 to 20 percent, but 15 to 20 FPS increase. So that's all for this stream. So that's all for this video. I've been streaming a lot, so that's what I'm used to say. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys like it. 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you can get the notification as soon as I post a video or go online with my live stream also like if you like the video and dislike if you dislike the video share with your friends and thanks for watching I'll be back with some more videos really soon peace out